Ladies and gentlemen, this is Graham, the result of an Australian project to demonstrate exactly how the human body would have to look to survive a car crash. In doing so, they've created something that simultaneously looks like a being from another planet, but also like your dad's pal who gets you pirate DVDs. So what is that about Graham that makes him so perfectly designed to deal with car crashes? Well, let's have a look then, let's do it. First up, Graham's skull is much bigger to help brace the brain from shock. Don't know if you'd noticed that one, it's quite, it's quite subtle. To stop any neck injuries, they ingeniously decided to just get rid of the neck. So now the ribs just extend up to the skull, giving you this lovely Sontaran-like look. Graham has stronger and thicker skin than we do. Well, he would have to, looking like that. Stronger and thicker ribs with organic airbags that exp expel, expel a, pro a protective liquid. <coughs> Disgusting. This is maybe my favourite bit. Because knee breaks are very common in car crashes, Graham's knees don't just move back and forth, they move all round. He's got 360 degree knees. Forget car crashes. I want to see this boy on the dance floor. Spring-loaded hoof-like legs that allow Graham to escape incoming cars with a single bound. Tell you what though, bet you'll be using those legs to bound away from all the angry husbands who come home to find Graham pumping their wives. <laughs> Nose and ears are pushed right into the face, and not just that, but the face is much more flat and filled with fatty tissue to protect from damage. No word on the goatee though, and I think it says a lot that in a being this mental looking, the most ridiculous thing about him is still the goatee. But you know, I'm unconvinced that Graham's beauty could really save me from a car crash. Well, there's only one way to find out, I guess. Now I'm here with the finest wine Trying to unwind while I wind and dine Sit sitting with your